We're checking out the only game today that I know of where the government would put someone like me in charge of building bridges that are supposed to be safe. Welcome to Polybridge 2. Uh, this, of course, is the sequel to the very popular Polybridge, which came out uh, a couple years ago. Uh, and if you haven't seen it before, then I don't know what rock you've been hiding under, but this game's awesome. Uh, we have to build bridges and try to get our vehicle to drive from one side to the other. Uh, now, there are a number of different worlds available in here. We have, like, four different ones that I guess have, uh, have different themes and stuff. Obviously, we're just starting, so we have a lot of different maps here to try to cover off. But we're going to jump straight into the very first one. Now, uh, I am definitely not an engineer, so I feel bad for the uh, the, the occupants of all these cars and the mess that I'm going to make of their lives. Uh, so the first one, 10 meter simple bridge. I think these ones, the first couple of them, I don't think are going to prove to be too challenging. But hopefully we don't uh, we don't cause any uh, horrible death, death and dismemberment along our way. Um, now, this game, if you haven't seen it again before, is uh, is all about the triangles. So we're gonna try and reproduce as many of these. I probably should have used like a copy thing. I could have just like done half the bridge. Copied it and flipped it back the other way. Okay, uh, so we had a budget of 10,000. We got 6,249. Let's see if our uh, our efforts are gonna pay off. First attempt. Go buddy, go. Ah, super easy. Yeah, so the first levels I think are gonna be quite the breeze. Uh, we can sail through these pretty quickly. Uh, obviously some other people. How did Bolt 986 get through this one without spending a single dollar? Or two dollars on that one. That's impressive. All right, so I'm not. Uh, I don't believe in the leaderboard at the moment. These are all. These are all test scenarios. 102. A new slope. So this one we've got to go downwards. That's all right. Let's just do like a straight line down here this time. All right, bridge number two. This should again be an easy win. Just roll on. Ooh, we can see the stress light up there a little bit, but it's good. No problems at all. All right, now we've got steel. Steel is much stronger than wood, but also very expensive, and we have to get this dump truck across. Uh, this one might prove a little bit more challenging. We're going to need a little bit more support to get uh, this truck across because it's a lot heavier, of course. All right, same bridge pattern. Uh, hopefully this is strong enough. It did make it all out of steel, so it should be good. Yeah, no issues at all. And we're like, uh, I don't know, 8,000 under budget or whatever. We're not going to win any awards for saving money on these just yet. I think that's a safe to say. Man, 419th. How many people are playing this game already? 14 meter overpass. Don't let boats hit your bridge. Try to build over it. Okay, so that's, uh, this should be an interesting adventure. I think this one might might actually prove to be our first challenge, because uh, we have to try to get up over top of this, this boat that's going to be sailing over here. Now, it does give us a really clear indication of exactly where they're going to be. I wonder how fast the vehicle goes. Can I just ramp off this thing instead of, like, completing the bridge? <laughs> Pretty sure this is a waste of money. We're already at 13570 out of the 15000 budget we have. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Make that jump. He's going to fall in the water. Oh, yeah. Too slow. Oh, <laughs> that's so close. All right. $11,338. Is this going to be enough to get us across? I don't even... Actually, is that even connected? I don't know if that's connected. It's not. <laughs> all right. Let's try that again. It's all about the triangles in this game. Okay. Got that secured. Can we make it across? All right, that's all right. We did it. Easy peasy. That's probably a better idea than trying to jump over it, I guess. Anyway, number five checkpoints. Cars must collect their checkpoint before collecting their flag. Uh, this time we've got a little bit of a different challenge. We've got two different vehicles. Uh, car number one has to go up top, get the flag. Car number two needs to go down and then back up again. Rather than trying to draw this out manually this time, how about we use the trace tool? We'll try to draw our little shape in here. Uh, so we go point to point like so, and then we can lower it down like this. Uh, that'll get our car to the point we need there. Perfect. Then we just have to throw our road on here. Okay, bottom side, we're going to do something really similar. We'll just throw this on here, and then we can fill that. That'll give us our roadway for the bottom vehicle to go. Um, and then I guess we're just going to have to draw in our, all our little triangles here and make all our fantastic connections. Uh, we actually might even be able to do kind of a bridge connection where the top and the bottom are supported on the same structure. We have 22,000 to work with. Hopefully this will be enough. All right, for the upper roadway, we're gonna do triangles underneath. On the bottom one, we did triangles up above. We'll see how this works. I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work out, but maybe we'll add in just a, a little bit of cross support here too, so we can get some fancy supports going on this one. I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> we'll see whether it holds the weight or not. Come on, little guys, you can do it. 
Oh, the whole works went down. They got their stars, but uh, yeah, that was a failure. All right, we're going to need uh, maybe a little bit more structural support. So it broke right, right down here uh, on the roadway. So obviously we need a little more support there. Um, it looks like we can do some lower anchoring points. So let's um, let's maybe do that if I can actually reach it. All right, we've got an anchor point there. We'll do the same thing over here. Anchor it down to here. I mean, that's not a, that's not a lot better, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a victory right there. Dynamite! 7,000 under budget, pretty much, which is not bad. All things considered, we got a crosser. I keep landing at like the 400s. I hope there's... I mean, there's a lot of test accounts going up above me. I think they're actually going to clear the leaderboard when the, the game launches on, on May 28th. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's going to be terribly hard. I mean, this boat's not exactly tall. So I kind of feel a little bit like um, yeah, we could have just built a bridge over it without a drawbridge. But uh, we'll make a drawbridge here just the same. Uh, we can get this to work. There we go. Let's start off first just by putting our bridge straight across. Uh, and then I think I'm going to plan to have it split like right here. Um, we could just lever up this tiny little spot right here. To get our bridge across there. So let's try and... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see how stable this is. Just do our fancy triangles all the way across. Um, so this spot right here... Is the part we're going to lift. Uh, and then... We're going to mirror... The, actually, you know what? Let's just copy and mirror this on the other side. Flip that horizontally. Oops. Somehow I got something extra in there, but that's alright that in. Okay. Alright, perfect. Uh, draw our little uh, top of the bridge here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This has got to go. Can't have this one here. That's got to be out of here. Okay, now to get this uh, this little part here to lever up, we're just going to use a piston here. And we use a piston here. Oh, that's not... <laughs> that was not what I wanted. I, I, gotta, I gotta delete that. There we go. Okay, great. Uh, and then we'll just... It only has to move a little bit, so we'll just try that. I, I don't... You know what? I don't think it's going to hold itself up. I think it's going to swing down, like, right here and crash. <laughs> uh, that could present a problem. Uh, let's, um... Let's try building some supports under here. If we do a uh, little triangular support, maybe. This might be enough to hold it. I'm trying to avoid using, uh, using metal if we can. Because the metal is a lot more expensive. Okay, 14,859 out of a budget of 25,000. Let's see if it works. Well, it didn't collapse right away, so that's a plus. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that did work there. I wonder, is it is it enough to get the boat through? Oh, that's close. Wow. Okay, I couldn't have cut that any closer, really. <laughs> as long as it holds up for the scooter to go across now, I think we're good. Come on, little guy. Oh, yeah, that's super easy. Nailed it. We could not really have cut that any closer with the uh, the boat going in the drawbridge. Whoa, sixth! Ho ho ho! All right, now I think they probably they probably cleared out the uh, the topless month. Somebody did it with seventy seven hundred dollars. I don't know how they managed that. Um, there have been some updates going through, so it looks like they've uh, you know, since I started recording. I think they've actually cleared out the uh, the top player lists. Taxi task. Some checkpoints reverse direction of the car. Okay, so the car's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna hit this checkpoint. It's gonna come back down. I don't know that this is gonna be too difficult, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll just use this to draw a straight line across. Save a little effort. Uh, and then I guess we can just try to support it from underneath, maybe? That's the thing we can do? Yep, that was not nearly enough support. <laughs> Okay, um, so I tried it, uh, doing uh, under supports first, but this is obviously you know is just not nearly enough. It's uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know why I even bother using these bottom supports. I think we could probably just do this by building on top of the bridge. Uh, if we do our our triangle structure up here, I think uh, it'll be good enough. We should be able to hold the weight of the car going forward and back uh, without the need of even using those under underpin supports there. Whoops. Okay, like so. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be strong enough, but we'll find out. Give this a first test. Uh, see the stress here in the middle already. I'm pretty sure that's going to break. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we just need a little bit more structural support in the middle, and then I think we'll be good to go. 
it didn't seem like a crazy amount of strain there. It was just, but it was enough to break it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully if we just span, a, like double span the middle here like this. We can make the entire thing out of wood. We don't have to use any metal. And that should give us uh, enough support, I think. Come on, little taxi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stresses are all good there. So that's plenty. Boom. That turns him around. He comes back the other way. Thanks for that work, little car. All right, 14,493. That wasn't bad. That gets me 19th. Level 8, rope support. Rope and cable are strong and long, but they cannot be compressed. Uh, okay, so this is an interesting setup here. I think uh, we want to use our fancy shape drawing tool here again. Let's span across this way. I don't want it to be that high up because that'll, that'll take extra road. Um, I don't know if we go like this, maybe? And then draw that all the way across. Uh, I kind of feel like I can actually delete this side of it. We'll build one side, and then we can just copy it and flip it and stick it on the other side, and that should be plenty, I think. I don't, I don't even know that we're going to need to do any really fancy supports here. We might even be able to just get away with our normal little triangle structure. Okay. Uh, now we're going to use the ropes here. We'll stick one rope there. We'll stick uh, one rope down here. Just like so. Oh, you know what? I probably should put the top on this, otherwise it's not going to work too good. I think we'll all fold up like crazy. Oh, that doesn't fit. Um... Can I cram any of these things over a little bit? That's a little weird. Okay, well, I got it to stretch across. I don't I don't know if this is going to be enough. Uh, let's copy that. Give it a quick flip and stick it right on here. So we can duplicate that on both sides. And then uh, in the middle here, obviously, we're going need, to need a little bit more support than what we have. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be strong enough. But I guess we're going to find out. I mean, this, I'm sure this fire truck's probably pretty heavy. 21,931 we've spent already. Stresses actually look pretty good. Oh, sweet. We did it. Boom. First try. Max rest 65.7. That gets us 11th. Obviously, we could do better cost-wise, but uh, we got the job done. Oh, we can actually see what other people did here, too. Oh, I see. Some other people just went with the straight bridge. That worked out a lot cheaper. Wow, I see how they got in so cheap. Budget cuts. Level 9. Use less material to save budget. Well, obviously, uh, the least amount of material we can use is a straight line across, so we're going to go with that. Uh, this is a tr big tractor thing, so there's no way it's going to be moving quick enough to do any kind of jumping, but we can at least do this. Um, and then uh, we'll try to do like a singular support down there. Uh, we're going to need some kind of structure over here, too. So let's make... Oh, you know what? Let's actually... Um, let's delete this. Let's leave this. We'll try doing an under support this time. I haven't really done it yet. Okay, so if we go like that and then draw it right across here. I don't know if the uh, the roadway, the, the corner is going to be enough to hold it, but I guess we'll find out. And then we'll use uh, we'll use this to do a little cross support like that. 10,302. <laughs> We're only barely under budget. That's, um, that's not great. I'm not going to lie. Come on, little tractor. Woo! See, the stress is getting up there. Yeah, nope, just a little bit too much. That didn't work. All right, back to the drawing board. Let's try something different. All right, it's a little funky, but uh, hopefully this will work. Oops, uh, I need to do that there. Okay, 10,020. So we're, again, we're just kind of just barely under. Maybe I can, uh, we can lower some of these down, maybe. Make this more like uh, like, like arched shape sort of thing here. Does that work? 9,540. Uh, if we have to, we can probably shave even a little more off here. So go up like this. 9,278. See if that holds. Oh boy, that's a oh yeah. Okay, there's too much strain in that metal section. Uh, we gotta do something about that. So this one here, we could probably uh, shift this down a little bit. Maybe that will help hold it. Like that, possibly. Oh, boy, that's close. That's close. We got across, though. It didn't break. Victory. 9,323 we spent. Uh, ooh, that puts us in third. Right, right below randomized user, which is, you know, random. Uh, but we did it. We got across there. Oh, it looks like somebody, yeah, somebody else did something similar. Actually, two other people did, by the looks of it. 
Uh, this one here, they just did like a straight bridge across. I don't know. All right, we'll see. Number 10, first jump. Sometimes jumping the gap is the best solution. Uh, I kind of want to see how this car flies. All right. Okay. I mean, you can get almost halfway across without any any structure at all. Let's um, let's I guess give me a couple of micro points back here. Let's do uh, let's do a roadway that kind of goes out like this. We'll give them just a, like a slight incline to try to make a bit of a jump out of it. Uh, we only have four more road pieces left, so I do have to be a little bit cautious of how we're building this time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this will hold because it's kind of like st st sort of stuck out in the middle of nowhere there. But if it does. Uh, that'll give us a bit of an angle to jump off. Let's see how that goes. You can already see the strain back here. Well, it held long enough for the car to get out there, but uh, obviously that's not good enough. Uh, we do need to do need to support this a little bit better. Uh, so we could do something like this, maybe. See if that helps. Try to save on costs here. We'll go this way, and maybe we can make this almost like a straight line kind of thing out to the end. Okay, see how that goes. Uh, I can see a little bit of strain right here, but not bad. Okay, that holds out good. Uh, we do have to get a ramp to reach out to here, though, if I'm going to catch him on the bottom end. Uh, either that, or we can do maybe, if we turn this upwards a little bit, we'll get a little bit of a jump out of the car. Instead of just like a driving straight off the end. Uh, let's go down bottom here now. We need a little bit of a catch ramp down here. Okay, <laughs> we sort of have something here. I don't, I don't know that this is going to handle the impact of the car. Uh, we're way under, way under budget right now, so the likelihood this is going to hold is, is probably not so great. Oh, top one broke this time. <laughs> okay, so apparently that little, the little lip up I gave it at the end there apparently uh, causes some structural challenges. Um, I can't move this up. Can I move this over? All right, change the angle a little bit. See if this uh, holds long enough for the car to get off. Oop! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's that's not working. Okay, I decided to go with a different route with the support. We'll see if uh, supporting it from up above maybe works a little bit better. Keep that intact as the car goes. Oh, I can see already see the strain here. That's not gonna work. Oh! No. That's not working. All right, we we can do one more support down here. It's getting more expensive now. We were we were like super under budget, but now we're. Uh, we're you know, quickly catching up there. Oh, it held! It held! Ooh, I've actually got the bridge too far down here now. Uh, can we lower this point a little bit? Maybe can't change our angle coming off that ramp just a touch. That's a lot less strain up top. Ooh, on the bottom side, we almost did it, but... The catch is a little too rough yet. Alright, where's it? Okay, it's breaking down here. I wonder um, if we make this bottom out of metal. Maybe that will give us what we need. I have a feeling it's just gonna just gonna translate the the force to another beam up here somewhere, and that's gonna break instead. But we'll see what happens. Oh, we made it! <laughs> well, we got across, but it smashed horribly. Uh, so that's not a good solution. We uh, we need to need to get one that actually doesn't break on us. Uh, I wonder if we uh, if we take this one out, can we put a spring in here? And give and then we'll give this. No, oh, that's that's not right. I want to compress it. So we'll give it some extra compression. That <laughs> brilliant. That worked. That worked perfectly. Okay, maybe this is in the wrong spot. Maybe we can put the spring up a little bit higher. If we put it up here, this is the piece that it's landing on. It's it lands like right on this road. So if we give this piece of road here a little bit of spring loading, then we might. Uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> That's not at all what I want. Okay. Let's uh let's maybe relax that a little bit. That's too much. Now we'll just leave it neutral. Spring neutral. See what happens when it hits there. Now nah, I mean we're getting across, but it's just smashing the heck out of everything. Okay, I've got a silly idea. I'm gonna try and uh, do this without if we go like this. Let's get rid of these, and we're gonna try putting springs in here instead. So that it has a little bit of cushion that it can work with. So when the car hits, it will pull it outwards and maybe not snap the end of the roadway, and then the car just has to leap across the gap. Boom! Haha, <laughs> nailed it! 21,902, that gets me fifth. It still shows I broke it, but I got through there without breaking anything. That worked fine. 
Level 11, stop and go. We have 25,000 budget for this one. Some checkpoints stop the car. So this time we have to drive up, stop, let a lift bridge open. Then we can go across the rest of the way. Uh, we only have two hydraulics we can work with. Uh, let's uh, first plan just have, we'll have a road go straight across. This should be easy. Nope, nope, not that. There we go. Straight across that way. Uh, we'll paint that in. Um, I'm going to have the road, or the, uh, the bridge separate here. Now we got it. Okay, so it'll separate right there. Uh, we'll do just the normal triangular structure all across the back of here, and then we'll have it open up just big enough for that boat to go through. Okay, something like this maybe? That'll give me the little gap that I need. I need, uh, this is gonna contract, you know, 40% or so. Doesn't have to be a lot. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I tried to put extra support on this side because I don't have this um, lever piece in the middle to hold it up. Let's see how it goes. I can already see a little bit of strain. Under oh, they're both gonna be on the bridge at the same time. Okay, oh, oh, only one of them stops. That's interesting. Oh yeah, this is working great. Yeah, first attempt. Ooh, that's a tight fit though. Don't hit the bridge. Oh, I got through. Ha <laughs> ha! Dynamite. Wow, 15,615. We're well under budget as long as this last bit doesn't break on me. Nailed it. Smoke that one. 77.2% man, 12 minutes. Some people got some really cheap options in here. Oh wow, look at what people were doing. That's neat. I mean, some people just avoided the lift bridge thing altogether. That's pretty cool. Good idea. All right, we're up to level 12 now, but I'm going to call it for now. This is, of course, Polybridge 2. You can get it on Steam. I'll have a link in the description to where you can pick it up. Fantastic game if you love these kind of puzzle games. Uh, and this, uh, you know, the Polybridge one was, was very popular, so I'm sure this one will be popular as well. But thanks, everyone, for coming to check out the video. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.